Hello guys and welcome in a new video. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to increase androgen receptor sensitivity, okay? And why are androgen receptors important? Let me start by saying what are androgen receptors. These are receptors that are situated in the cytoplasm with affinity for testosterone and DHT. So testosterone and DHT are basically two androgens and particularly the most potent androgens with DHT beating testosterone because they exert their actions by binding to these androgens, okay? The second hormone, DHT, has very high affinity for the androgen receptor and the rate of dissociation is five times lower than the one of testosterone, okay? So androgen receptors are basically transcription factors which regulate gene expression. So how do androgens affect the body? First, they regulate metabolism. They are also responsible for the development of secondary sexual traits. And in this case, we are talking particularly about DHT. They enhance libido, they increase muscle mass, and also they increase protein synthesis, okay? So usually when you have higher testosterone and also higher free testosterone, because testosterone is bound to uh, proteins and particularly is bound very tightly to SHVG. So it's very hard to free testosterone. In this case, when you have a higher SHBG, you have less free testosterone, okay? And by having more free testosterone, so less testosterone bound to SHBG sex hormone binding globally, you will feel more the effects of testosterone, okay? So do not only count the total testosterone, but also keep in mind that free testosterone is as important, if not more. Let's start from the first thing that you can do in order to increase your androgen receptor sensitivity you can start with resistance training. Now, I found these two studies that basically talk about the benefits of resistance training on the androgen receptors. And particularly, high load full body resistance training increases AR signaling. Generally speaking, resistance training regularly increases androgen receptor sensitivity to androgens, okay? So basically, testosterone and DHT bind easily to these receptors. In particular, androgen receptors are upregulated when the body starts to recover from the catabolic period immediately following the resistance training. This happens because feeding after resistance training stimulates androgen receptor activity. And also when you do not eat after training, you are in a more or less a catabolic state. So basically by eating after uh, resistance training, you will upregulate your androgen receptors. And in these two studies, we can see the results and particularly the first study uh, is named effects of sequential bouts of resistance exercise on androgen receptor expression and as you can see the conclusion says three sequential bouts of heavy resistance exercise increase serum testosterone and are effective at upregulating androgen receptor mRNA and protein expression that appears to correspond to subsequent increases in myofibrillar protein. Also, the next study is named High Load Resistance Exercise Augments Androgen Receptor DNA Binding and b cutting Signaling Without Increases in Serum Muscle Androgens or Androgen Receptor Content. And the conclusion states that in response to high load resistance training, we observe a significant 74 increase in androgen receptor DNA binding activity without significant elevation in serum or muscle androgen concentration or androgen receptor protein content. However, sarcoplasmatic beta gadolinium was 94% significantly greater when comparing the high load versus low load conditions, regardless of time. Collectively, our findings provide evidence that when volume and intensity are equated, the acute androgen receptor signaling response to mechanical loads on skeletal muscle appears to be load mediated. So basically it appears that higher load stimulates more the androgen receptors and therefore there could be uh, an increase in muscle mass because basically testosterone binds easily to its receptors. Next guys is L-carnitine. Ingestion of L-carnitine, L-tartrate upregulates androgen receptors, suggesting a better recovery from resistance training. I found a study that was named Androgenic Responses to Resistance Exercise. 
effects of feeding and L-carnitine. In summary, this data demonstrated that first, feeding after resistance training increased androgen receptor content, which may result in increased testosterone uptake and thus enhanced luteinizing hormone suppression via feedback mechanisms. And second, L-carnitine, L-tartrate supplementation upregulated androgen receptor content, which may promote recovery from resistance training. So, we can see that carnitine with also resistance training basically upregulates androgen receptors. Next, guys, is IGF-1, insulin-like growth factor 1. So, in particular, the stimulation of IGF-1 can induce androgen receptors activation. In particular, IGF-1 attenuates the activity of FOXO-1, which is basically, guys, the transcription factor that inhibits the androgen receptor activation. By doing heat and resistance training, you will basically increase IGF-1. Also, protein and zinc increase IGF-1. So, this could be also another way to basically uh, attenuate the negative effect that FOXO-1 has on androgen receptor and possibly increase the androgen receptor sensitivity by stimulating the IGF-1. Now, let's talk real quick about the androgen receptor disruptors. So, high volume seems to downregulate androgen receptors. This can be due to higher protein catabolism and higher spikes in cortisol. And you can see here in the study, androgen receptor content following heavy resistance exercise in men. The conclusion are, these results demonstrated that a higher volume of resistance exercise resulted in downregulation of androgen receptor content one hour post-exercise. This may have been due to greater protein catabolism associated with the higher level of stress following higher volume resistance exercise. And I do not suggest you to do low volume, but I think that maybe when you do too much volume, uh, this can be a problem. So you can find your volume according to how well you recover when you train with the weights. But what this study is saying is that high volume leads to the down regulation of androgen receptor content. So experiment also with yourself, see how you feel. But basically, by doing maybe a bit less volume, you will uh, upregulate your androgen receptors. Next, guys, is BPA. Bisphenol A is a chemical compound found mainly in plastic, which is antiandrogenic and has some affinity for estrogen receptors. It also binds to androgen receptors, downregulating their expression. So, BPA is basically in plastics and uh, also in the receipts. I suggest you, for example, not to uh, touch too much the receipts because they contain a high level of BPA. Also, uh, thermal paper contains uh, BPA. So, it's very difficult to avoid BPA because they are basically uh, in all the plastic bottles. But what you can do is try to minimize them, okay? So, yes, you can drink from a plastic bottle, but try to drink mainly from uh, metallic bottles or glass bottles. Also, when you go outside, try not to touch too much the receipts because uh, they contain a high quantity of BPA. So, these two uh, interventions can basically minimize the absorption of BPA. I found two studies that said antiandrogenic mechanisms of bisphenol A involve androgen receptor signaling pathway. So the data uncover novel antiandrogenic mechanisms by which BPA antagonizes AR signaling, contributing to certainly cell proliferation, suppression, and may reproductive toxicology. Okay, so definitely guys, be aware of it. Try to not uh, be too much in contact with BPA. Next study is named Deciphering the mechanisms and interactions of the endocrine disruptor bisphenol A and its analogs with the androgen receptor. Experimental validation results further revealed that BPA demonstrates a higher level of antiandrogenic activity compared to the other selected compounds, indicating distinct binding characteristics compared to both BPA and DHT. Basically, what BPA does is it binds to the androgen receptor and it has therefore antiandrogenic effects. So what we can see is that basically BPA is antiandrogenic and binds to the androgen receptor. So try to minimize the exposure to BPA. Next, guys, is phthalates. They are chemical compounds used to make the plastic more durable. 
They are found in packages for foods and also in cosmetics and personal use products. I also found other two studies that said phthalate induced testosterone androgen receptor pathway disorder on spermatogenesis and antagonism of lycopene. Lycopene, is, guys, is a compound that is contained in tomatoes. The results of the present study suggest that exposure to phthalates is also involved in the subjective experience of decreased sexual desire and sexual satisfaction of women, an effect that could result from decreased ovarian output of androgens or from antiandrogenic effects on nuclear or membrane-bound androgen receptors. You can see that in women, phthalates have antiandrogenic effects. The next study said that Endocrine disruption, structural interaction of androgen receptor against D2 ethylexyl phthalate and its metabolites. The binding energy of DEHP with androgen receptor was similar to that of native ligand testosterone. The amino acid residue interaction of DEHP metabolites had 91 to 100% similarity compared to that of testosterone. So what happens is that those compounds basically bind to the androgen receptors with almost the same affinity that testosterone has for the receptor. Taken together, the structural binding data in the present study suggested the potential for DEHP metabolites to disrupt AR signaling, which may lead to androgen-related reproductive dysfunction. As a conclusion, guys, try to minimize the exposure to uh, all these compounds like phthalates and BPA and try to resistance train with higher load, maybe a bit less of volume. Try to uh, also stimulate IGF-1. Also, you can consume l carnitine in order to uh, improve your androgen receptor sensitivity, but also try to maximize your testosterone and also DHT and also free testosterone so that when you have a high quantity of these hormones, you can basically have higher androgen receptor sensitivity and the presence of the androgen receptors will make it so that the testosterone that your body is producing will correctly bind to them. For this video, this is all. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.